Happy. 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 Yum. I'm hungry as usual. That's great. <laughs> this entire spread is for you. <laughs> How do you remain so timeless? Like, you know, you've been around for really long. What is the secret? I don't see myself like that. I see myself as a jumpy five-year-old, basically. <laughs> but people see me like that and maybe that's lucky because I get to wear a lot of beautiful clothes. I get to wear a lot of beautiful jewellery. Uh, some of my friends think I wake up in a gharara, which is not true. <laughs> I'm usually in some patawa shorts or jeans with a ganji in my real this thing. But for the rest of it, I'll credit genetics. Hira Mandi, you know, I mean, I think something just changed after that, right? Were you really expecting that kind of love? See, when you're working with someone like Sanjay sir, you know that it's going to be something magical, something special. And he really does create like cinematic legacies. They make you feel. So I go to set completely like a sponge. And I go to set with that excitement of being able to listen to this master who I really love and just enjoying the journey. And I don't think of what the result is going to be very, very, very honestly. When the result is what it is, it is like plus and plus and plus and plus and plus. It just feels very overwhelming and that's a very wonderful feeling to not, you know, to not have that burden of what is the result going to be. That's always how I work. Do you want to grab a bite while we are having... I do, but then you're going to ask me questions and then I'll be chomping. That's fine, that's the whole idea. Mm -hmm. So what's your favourite food? I also come from such a mixed background, right? So there's Mangalorean food, there's a Hyderabadi food, there's... It's all quite mixed up. I also grew up a bit in Delhi, so there's that. But I think I veer the most towards like Far East kind of food. Either Japanese or Chinese or basically Pan Asian. Is that the right word? Yes, Pan Asian. Who is your all time favorite co actor? That's not fair, I can't. <laughs> well, oh, that's so easy. Actually, I can say, uh, I'll, uh, I'll say Siddharth. Yeah, amazing. So, How long have you known Siddharth? Um, actually, not that long. We've known, like, we've known that we exist. I mean, that he knew. Wow. Like, you <laughs> exist, it seems, in the same universe. I just knew him as a Maniratnam boy. Like, he's worked on Yuva and he was a Manisa AD. So, because I was working in the office, I would, like, it's a small. Uh, so, did Manis sir play the no, Cupid? No, 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 not at all. Okay. No, I met him on set. I met him on set and we only started dating after that film got over. So I'll say he's my favourite co-star. Amazing. Obviously. How important is fame to you? you know, I love it. I really enjoy the love that I get. I savour it. I'm happy to give it back. But the fact that it also there is also fame and these amazing lives which are also difficult. Like a lot of people don't see that part of it. That is also there but I always see the positive of it. You know, you come from Hyderabad, you come from a royal lineage, so obviously life is very different um, in that city. Even the pace, I think, is, is very different, <laughs> right? But you've lived in Bombay for a while. Yeah. Um, how did you, I mean, when you first moved here, when did you move here for the first time? 2010-11. So when you moved here, how did you, I mean, how did you adjust yourself? I do come from a protected space and I come from a space where there are a lot of like-minded people in terms of their thought. So I have pretty much grown up believing that everybody is a care bear. When I came here, I felt like people said to me a lot that I needed to be like um, harder and like maybe less sensitive and um, so I just like at some point and that was a learning for me, I was just like no. I cannot eat glass and nails for breakfast, that's not me. My sensitivity or my vulnerability or whatever it is, that's me. So that's my strength. So it took me a little while to figure that out. And I think that gave me that thing of authenticity. Be you. And what are some of your favourite spots? I think homes, my home being <laughs> number one. Everybody tends to gravitate towards my home which they call Hotel California because they're like, when we get there and we don't want to leave. I can hear coils. I love a, like a weekend in town, Kala Ghoda. I love Bandra. Like that spots, na yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, I think in terms of neighborhoods, essentially. Yeah. I also like Varsova because that's where I, I was before I moved to Bandra. When I first came to uh, Bombay, I was in Varsova and I lived right across the sea. 
and it had this little like almost like quaint village like quality which has really like who have been some of the most inspiring people in your life um, my nani and my mother first both quite different but their core i find so inspiring and like my nani mm, has been like a 5 year old forever always willing to learn always has a twinkle in her eyes mm, has been inspiring to so many people and just so full of being so like dynamic as a human you know she'll walk into a room and it'll be charged i think both these mm, women have been very very important in my life and important to how i've grown up professionally is there any pity that you always looked up to Audrey Hepburn <laughs> I've admired in every way beautiful inside out um a uh, gentle and kind but empowered so inspiring also why she is timeless yeah exactly yeah there's a timeless quality a legacy that kind of lives on and i think there's a reason for that you know this industry is obviously fiercely competitive it is um can be fiercely ruthless yeah. and filled with rejections hmm. how do you how have you coped up with all of that how do you maintain your calm it's difficult because i'm sensitive and especially at the beginning like a rejection feels very personal because it's the work that we do right it's everything is about yourself but i feel like today i tell myself that it should not be personal because everybody has their reason for doing something and you never know it's a thing of just being empathetic and saying no there is a reason some people are just downright ghastly that now you can't do anything about but you cannot be in their um, you know you don't have to like hang out with them but certain times i like that's how i just like turn it in my head to say that okay everybody had their reasons and the thing is like i would always be the best version of myself and if they want to be what's their problem my mother has taught me this and it's really done me good huh? mostly calm who's your most scathing critic scathing critics i don't have uh, not scathing because i think they know that if they're scathing i'd probably be swimming in a pool of tears i'm like say whatever you want say it nicely <laughs> i feel like the person who is very very honest with me uh, about work um is uh, siddharth and i really value i'm like there's a, there's very 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 often that i would pick up the phone and discuss things with him uh when i need a very balanced uh, sort of perspective on things and he's also cinema boy so i can like completely trust him on what he says he doesn't say things just to make me happy what are the qualities in your partner that you know that really sort of got to you i think with sadat it's uh, uh, it was that instant oh this is my pixie soulmate um that he also is a never grow up kind of a human always learning always um always fun and and i think for me humor is really important to be able to laugh and to be able to laugh together is very important um and i think anybody like like with him i feel like we're in the same team and the problem is outside so we'll deal with the problem so i like that quality is there and i really value that in, in him and also i i value that he's an artist uh and a true artist you know mm, it's nice to be able to truly respect um and admire your soulmate and that you don't have to dab be like it was nice and you're dying <laughs> no. where are you off to next in terms of holiday do i know the answer <laughs> holidays are usually planned by siddharth not me though i'm the one with the proper schedule but he's very spontaneous i mean he could just wake up and figure that oh i have a week off and some holiday will be planned around it which is actually something i love so that my la i can tell you about my last holiday my last holiday was uh in italy italy no yeah, yeah. and it was after all can. the gelatos and the pictures <laughs> very nice straight after can and more than gelato was cycling cycling seemed to be like the main <laughs> main attraction do you have any bucket list destinations i want to go to south america dying to go to south america i want to go to mexico um i want to see the northern lights what else so much so much how to say now i want to go back to 
Japan. I've been there as a teenager, so I want to go back. What are you binge watching these days? The show I'm currently binge, binge watching is a Korean show. Oh. Korean tourism is... I am dying to go also. Skincare nerd means I should go. Because your skin is flawless. Touch wood. Uh, touch wood already. Touch wood. Because somebody said this today and I got a mosquito bite. Touch wood. But um, what is it that you do? So apart from mother and grandmother and their great skin and of course my grandmother said I didn't even put a face back when she saw a face back on my face. My grandma is so like, like <laughs> uh, so um, I would say stuff from the kitchen and I've been brought up on potions and healthy potions and lotions since I was little. That's always, I, I really believe that that helps because your childhood and what you're eating and that that thing I think is is very important. Now I basically run to the kitchen, find whatever. That is when I have time and when I remember. Because honestly, I was way better when I was like a teenager. Because I had my mother around me and whatever. Now I just like do anything. Uh, I also literally bathe in hyaluronic acid, which I think is bomb. At least it works for me. I love it. Uh, I put it on top of my makeup, I put it in the middle of the day, I put it like, I just use it all the time. I'm one of those, like I'll use like the, like I like science and skincare, you know, so I, I like the little nerdiness to skincare. Or then I'll go full on naturopathy, like uh, unicorn's mane or I don't know, unicorn sparkle dust, something. Beauty. Like, yeah. Describe Aditi Rao Hyderi in a line. Not possible. How do I do that? Whoa. Who are you as a person? You know, you sometimes you ask yourself this, who are you? And then, and I think that's the toughest question one can ask. So who, difficult. Who are you? I would say that I have some kind of, first of all, I love my little other world dreamland core existence. I really, I think that is something I tap into all the time. So I think I have a pixie spirit, however ridiculous it sounds to anybody else, but I'm like, if you don't believe it, that's your problem. I believe it. So, uh, I think I have a pixie spirit soul. Um, I'm a hashtag never grow up. Um, I'm very transparent, which works great in front of the camera and off camera, it's a problem. I'm a ball of love. That's I amazing. really believe in love. I think it's the most important thing to receive and to give. That's so beautiful. What is in your bag which weighs a ton? Where do I start? <laughs> so, in my bag, okay, I have my sunglasses, which I must have. Then I have my phone, my card ka pouch. Then I have one pouch that has everything in it. So there's uh, bobby pins, scrunchies, Earrings, a cheek can, a lip tint, hyaluronic acid, lip balm, which evidently I have not used today, mukhwas, which is this thing that everybody wants. So my mother found this really healthy, like full of herbs kind of mukhwas, and anytime I give it to someone, they like, can I have one? So I'm, I've literally become the, like the a dealer in this. <laughs> wow, it's from Pondicherry and it's damp. What else? There's a lot. Clearly, because it does weigh a ton, 